Hi guys. I'm about to do a small van reveal. I'm making this video to ask forgiveness for saying um two million times during the video. I watched it and I cringed. Like really? So I figured I, I, I'm not going to redo it. I'm just going to put that up. But forgive the um. Um. <laughs> just saying. But I still hope you enjoy. Thanks. Hello. I'm going to give a quick, quick peek. <laughs> quick peek. <laughs> In my van. Because I'm not really finished. But. I wanted to be able to show a few family members and some friends that I have out of town um, what the inside of my van is looking like and how it's coming along because they know I'm going to be coming to visit soon, going to be going to Houston, but I just wanted to give a little look now and really to encourage because that's what this channel is about, really stepping out and doing what you want to do, right? It's the whole reason I'm on here, no other reason, just to encourage other people the way that I was encouraged. So you ready? Let's go take a look. Okay, let's get started. You step in, let's see, the front is like any basic cab. I don't have a swivel seat yet, but I did um, make Reflectix to go on my windows up front. And uh, what's funny, I don't know if you can see it, but I cut it to where it doesn't cover the entire window so I can look out the side window and kind of see behind my van on both sides. I did that on both sides. And I also did Reflectix for the front. And uh, I don't have a swivel seat yet, but I plan to get one. Now, let's get into the main part. Well, let me just step into the cab and then go back this way. So, you see the basic layout of my van, okay? And... I have the the cabinets right here with a little sink <clears throat> underneath my cabinet. It's like I have the water, um, a hand pump and a foot pump because I haven't decided which one I want to go with, honestly. So I'm trying to decide. I have my cooler under there. And over here, I just have some basics. Um, oh, my two burner stove. Um, it's not out like that when I'm moving. It's It's put in under the cabinet. Uh, just some extra baby wipes and first aid kit and extra um, lights. I have my, I use a very small pot because um, it's mostly simple things we're doing here. You know, I don't do big elaborate meals in here. Not yet anyway. And I have Velcro on my, <laughs> on my, my, um my drawers, which is, is why they're not coming out as easily. I also have a couple of battery operated fans, which um, I probably will already always use, but I may not ha have to. <clears throat> I expect to get um, either USB or 12 volt um, operated fans when I get my power source. Cause I also have a, a Max Air fan at the top that's remote operated. So all I have to do is plug it into whatever source I'm gonna get. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do individual pieces to the system or just one system, an all-in-one, just plug and play. I haven't decided yet. Um, and these are my cabinets up top. And I also have some cabinets back here. They'll close or stay back there. Then I do extra things like extra toiletries and things like that and towels and so forth and extra garbage bags. And I also, in this bench right there um i can pull it out or push it in more under the bed which i usually have it pushed in more it also opens i keep like a sleeping bag and just in case i'm somewhere where it's really cold and uh yeah so i built the bed frame um because i had help with a friend of mine and my son um doing all of this it was like uh, um me my son and um a guy friend of mine that was it but um, with the bed frame, I did that. I'm so proud to say. <laughs> and um, I have a video, um, what a quick view of my beginnings or, or one of those, one of the videos showing um, underneath how I have it braced against the frame of the van. And uh, it also has, it shows how the entire um, van, you'll see the black portions, the entire van is painted with bed liner. So that's a little insulating tool and um, and a slight sound barrier also. 
Now, on my bed, I left parts of this open. It's, it, there's only Reflectix and um, like a carpet. I did the same thing over here on this side because I'm thinking I'm going to put windows there. I haven't decided. So that's why I'm kind of leaving that part open. I may put windows up over the sink area too. Still haven't decided. And another question most people want to know is, how do you use the bathroom? Well, I have it covered under here, but I have a Dometic. And um, that's what I use. I just pull it out and use it. And I only do number one <laughs> in that. I have the, the bucket with the lid on it and the cat litter. If I ever have to do anything, then a number one. I do not mix them. Everyone hears that is the worst thing you could possibly do. So I don't do that. And um, I love it. The Dometic is really great. And if I have to do anything other than that, just use the bucket system. So it's all about um, whether or not, um, I guess you're accustomed to camping. Campers, I mean, they're, they're not faced by it at all. Hey, I was in the military, so pff, no problem, believe me. So that's a quick look at my thing. Yeah? And I'd also like to say that um my oh tomorrow okay in conclusion oh i forgot the beach is calling i love beaches beaches in the van perfect combination but what i was about to say was that um later today and tomorrow i will be um Definitely tomorrow, maybe later today, catching a couple of parades. So I'll make sure I get some footage so you can see. And um, another thing my bestie and I were talking about, she lives in Houston. I'll be there soon. She, <laughs> I told her the idea that I had for the name of my van. And it's a little risque. So I was like, do you think? And she was like, I love it. <gasps> I don't know. So I have two names. So I'd love to know which one you think I should use. One of them is the van cave. You know how men say man cave? Well, women usually say she shed. I could say the she shed, but no. I, it, it's because it's a van. So how about the van cave? And another one that came to mind that kind of has me cringing a little bit, but I can't get it out of my head, is the G-spot. Okay, before you go there, that's what came to mind. No, I'm not talking about that one, the one you're thinking of, but my grandkids call me Gigi. So now that name is very dear to me. But the name of my channel is Gigi's Van Escape. So why not the G Spot? GG Spot was, I don't know. G Spot's really catchy. Anyway, tell me what you think. Okay, guys, that's my van. Have a great day. Don't forget. Follow your dreams, go out there and do it. Thanks for being with me.